Before installing this mount, please make sure you read the manual thoroughly. Tool check. To install this product, you will need an electric drill, a 3 16 inch drill bit for wood stud installations, a socket wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, a level, a tape measure or ruler, a pencil, and an electronic stud finder. It's also a good idea to have an awl or small nail to verify stud locations. Parts check. Check carefully to make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. Depending on your installation, you may not need every part provided. If any parts are missing or damaged, contact customer service by calling 1-800-359-5520 to have the part sent directly to you. Step 1. Attach the wall plate to the wall. For help determining the proper height to install your mount, visit the SANUS website at www.sanus.com and locate the Height Finder tool on the left side of the home page. Simply enter your TV and mount information and Height Finder will calculate the optimum location to install your mount. Please note, for safe installation, the VMF220 can only be mounted to one wood stud. Any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch or 16 millimeters in thickness. Use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark a stud. It's a good idea to verify the stud location with an awl or thin nail. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Once you choose a location, use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking two hole locations with a pencil, one in the top row of slots and one in the bottom. Drill two holes with a 3 16 inch drill bit to a depth of three and a half inches. Position the wall plate so the arrow on the back side of the end cap is facing up. Attach the wall plate using the two lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before tightening the bolts with a socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step two. Attach the arm assembly to the wall plate. Fit the top of the arm assembly into the upper ridge of the wall plate. Let the bottom of the arm assembly settle into the bottom ridge. Thread two bolts into the holes on the top of the arm assembly and into the locking bar. Tighten with an Allen wrench. Next, thread two bolts into the holes on the bottom of the arm assembly and into the locking bar. Tighten them with an Allen wrench. Step 3. Adjust the TV interface to fit the hole pattern of your TV. Use a tape measure or ruler to determine your TV's hole pattern size. Place the TV interface over the back of your TV, making sure the center column is aligned with the center of your TV. Loosen the upper and lower fasteners with an Allen wrench, and adjust the brackets by moving them up or down until you reach your desired heights. Ensure the brackets are level with each other, then tighten the upper and lower fasteners on each bracket. Do not over tighten the fasteners. Step 4. Install the TV brackets to the back of your TV. First, determine the diameter of the screw your television requires. Hand thread a screw into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another screw diameter until you have the correct size. The long screws should only be used with the long spacers, or they could damage your TV's internal components. For TVs with a flat or unobstructed back, proceed to step 4-1. For TVs with an irregular or obstructed back, proceed to steps 4-2 or 4-3. If you need extra space to accommodate cables, recesses, or protrusions, proceed to steps 4-2 or 4-3. Only standard configurations are shown. For special applications, please contact customer service. Step 4-1. Attach the TV brackets to a TV with a flat or unobstructed back. Before beginning, make sure the locking tab on the center column of the TV plate is facing up. Thread the short bolt through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and the bracket. Add a short spacer between the bracket and the TV. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. 
Step 4-2. Attach the TV brackets to a TV with a low curved back or an obstruction. Before beginning, make sure the locking tab on the center column of the TV plate is facing up. Thread the medium bolt through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and the bracket. Add a medium spacer between the bracket and the TV. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. Step 4-3. Attach the TV brackets to a TV with a high curved back or an obstruction. Before beginning, make sure the locking tab on the center column of the TV plate is facing up. Thread the long bolt through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and the bracket. Add a long spacer between the bracket and the TV. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. Step 5. Install the TV interface to the arm assembly. Position the extension arm so the elbow is pressed against the wall. Tighten the tension adjustment ring to prevent the arm from moving while you're installing the TV interface. With the help of an assistant, lift the locking tab on the TV interface into the opening on the head of the arm assembly, letting it slide downward into place. Secure the TV interface by threading the locking screw into the hole on the inside of the arm assembly. Step 6. Route and conceal your TV cables. Remove the upper arm covers by pressing down on the front of the cover. The rest of the cover will pop upward. Remove the screws holding the lower cover in place to free it from the arm. Pull the arm to its full extension, then gently thread your TV cables along the follow-through cable channel and through the elbow. Be sure to leave enough slack in the cables to allow the monitor to extend, retract, and swivel freely. When you're done routing your cables, replace the arm covers. Step 7. Install the upper and lower wall plate covers. Slide each cover into the left side of the end cap. When it is secured, slide it into the right side of the end cap. Step 8. Adjust the tension. To adjust the left and right swivel tension, tighten or loosen the adjustment knob on the head of the arm assembly. To adjust the up and down tilt tension, tighten or loosen the knobs on the head of the arm assembly. To adjust the extend and retract tension, tighten or loosen the tension adjustment ring located on the elbow of the arm. You can also use an Allen wrench to tighten or loosen the screw located on the base of the arm. Caution, never remove the tension nut. Be sure threads are always visible above the nut. Step nine, adjust the level. To level your TV, use an Allen wrench to loosen the bolts on the back of the head of the arm assembly. Using a level, roll the TV clockwise or counterclockwise until it is square with the wall. Then retighten the bolts to secure the TV in place. You are now free to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television. Thank you for your interest in this Sanus Vision Mount Flat Panel TV wall mount. If you have any problems with this product or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520.